Shannon here with another video. In today's video, we're going to learn how to make hand sanitizer. Yes, the hot commodity of the coronavirus era. And if you have these ingredients at home, it's easy to make. It's very simple, very quick. I know the stores are trying to, you know, close early so they can stock these products and, and, and put them on the shelves so we can get them again. But if you already, most people have, if you don't, Aloe vera is the best thing you can have in your house. So you can see I have an aloe vera plant. I keep one. Aloe vera is good for your hair. It's good for burns. It's good for lots of stuff. Alcohol, you should always have in your house. Alcohol is good for everything from the mint that I use to clean my face at nighttime. 50% or more um, rubbing alcohol is something you should always have in your house as a first aid. So if you have aloe vera, and aloe vera um aloe vera gel and let me see where's my alcohol and rubbing alcohol these are the two ingredients yes let's still got to be a little diva now two ingredients that you should have in your house now this one is 91 percent alcohol um i have another one that's 91 percent it comes in 70 percent 50 percent but they're saying anything over 50 percent you can use to make hand sanitizer so we're going to make that. But I just have a little quick pet peeve, you guys. Now, I know we're trying to stay healthy and fit. I did a video on how to do, you know, some healthy foods. Um, I'm still going to the grocery store, seeing all the fruits and vegetables still there. Guys, if you are not eating fruits and vegetables to keep your immune system healthy, then you can get anything. Corona, uh, the flu, stomach virus. You have to have that healthiness internally and externally you can't do one or without the other you can't be healthy on the outside by washing your hands and um, taking alcohol to wipe you have to be internally inside this is how your body is going to fight off any infection or any pandemic that spreads whether it be this one or anyone in the future further down the road you have to stay healthy inside so that means lots of fruits and vegetables if you don't like them you need to start eating them. You have to have your body internally healthy and your outside as well. But for the people who really don't even adhere to any of that, and my little pet peeve, so I'm going to do it's not a rant, but it's for the same people. The majority of us are healthy and try to be healthy or try to exhibit healthiness. But for that same person, man or woman, child, that we see them all the time, they're in a car digging up their nose. And they see us and they still continue to dig and then they touch their steering wheel or the lady that's in the bathroom why i'm going to the bathroom and she's having a full conversation on her cell phone and she doesn't even wash her hands her cell phone's dirty she takes that she goes right out the door doesn't wash her hands these are the people that we have to be concerned with with the coronavirus or you people are not thinking you got your gloves on but those same gloves you get into your car, you don't even take them off. They're on your steering wheel. Are you wiping your steering wheel off? Are you still taking your dirty gloves that you just touched the cart at Walmart to and touched it on your doorknob? Those are the things, you guys, you need to pay attention to. That is one of the main reasons that any virus lives because it's still on the surface of you thinking that you're really getting rid of it, but you're not. Or the person that's still not coughing into the their elbow, still not using tissue, to blow their nose or sneeze in the air. These are the things that we should have been doing before the coronavirus or any other type of virus or any other airborne surface contact virus that's out there. You have to stay healthy and diligent on what you're doing. So next time you wanna take your tissue and throw it in the cart or take your chicken bones and throw them out the window, we got garbage cans, people. We have evolved. We use garbage cans. I mean, it's not something that's new. Washing your hands is not new. Using hand sanitizer is not new. We have Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret, Axe for Men, Zest, Irish Spring, for goodness sake, Ivory, the old school, Zest, old school soap. These are things that you should have been doing prior to this virus taking a hold on your life and toilet paper for goodness sake stop hoarding the toilet paper yes you need toilet paper but at the end of the day there's tons of it tons of toilet paper if you are hoarding toilet paper if you're not being healthy you don't need no damn toilet paper just put it like that so that's my little rant for today but 
three things that you need to make this hand sanitizer. So let's get right into this video. If you are new to my channel, thanks for tuning in and watching. If you have not yet subscribed, you need to hit that bell, smash it hard and subscribe to my channel because I got all the tea on anything that's going on, whether it be fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and this is gonna be a lifestyle video for you who have these products in your house and you can share this with your neighbors, your friends and family. If people have run out of hand sanitizer and you have these items, you can make it. So let's get into the video. All right, let's start. What you're going to need is a bowl, some alcohol. And if you have an aloe vera plant, it might be hard to take one and get the juice out of it. But there are, they're selling them. They're in the stores. You can buy them. But I have this aloe vera gel. I'll bring it to you. Lily of the Desert aloe vera gel. And I was wondering what I was going to do with this big dietary because aloe vera, again, is good for internally and externally. So it's good for burns. Um, it soothes and ease uh, burns on your skin. It's good for your hair. It gets uh, moisture in your hair. So you could use it on your um, hair. You can drink it. It's good internally as well. So these, this is aloe vera. If you don't have one, buy you a plant this year. You guys get an aloe vera plant. It has so many uses. You can go on the internet. And Google it and research all the benefits of aloe vera. But and it's a good moisturizer as well. And then it's one of the products I use in my body scrubs. So aloe vera gel. And you can find these little travel bottles that I got at the dollar store. Three in the bottle uh, package for a dollar. And you'll just need your mixing cup and a spatula. And so what you're gonna do, you guys, we're gonna take three-fourths cup of the alcohol. Okay, mix it in the bowl. And we're gonna do one-fourth cup of the aloe vera gel. And you can pretty much make your own consistency. The aloe vera gel is going to cut the dryness because it's a moisturizer. It's going to cut the dryness of the alcohol because as we all know, <coughs> excuse me, I still have allergies. I'm by aloe vera plant and by orchid and all my plants here in my kitchen. Aloe vera gel is a moisturizer. So it's going to cut the dryness of the alcohol now <coughs> a little dry throat so I had to get me a little OJ in my key cup and I said you need three ingredients basically two but if you want the um, hand sanitizer to smell good since I make homemade body scrubs I have essential oils this one is lemongrass and this one is orange. Now, prior to this, I had already made some lemongrass hand sanitizer. And as you can see, if you can see, this is how it looks when you're with the complete look. You, that's the aloe vera gel. And it looks just like the stuff you get in the stores. And you can label it just like they do. But this is basically what it looks like once it's in this formation. But sometimes you do have to play with the aloe vera gel just for your consistency so sometimes it could look a little thin or runny i'm gonna show you this look at it's thin so what i'm gonna do is add a little more aloe vera gel to it pour some more in here if it wants to come out all right let's get it pumping out of there i'm just going to put a little bit more in Probably like another three-fourths cup. So you do have to play with it. The recipes online will tell you the ingredients on how you can use it. But sometimes you have to make it to your own consistency. And the alcohol will really break down the aloe vera gel a lot. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stir it up. And to me, it's still the consistency is a little bit runny. So I'm going to do one more three-fourths cup of aloe vera gel which is going to give me roughly about a cup of aloe vera gel 
and three fourths cup of alcohol for my consistency and this is how I like mine. So I like that a little bit better. And with it being 99% alcohol, it's really drying. And so the aloe vera is really gonna cut that off. And I didn't really use the whole amount. So almost like three fourths cup for my aloe vera gel. Okay, and next after that, we're gonna take, I'm gonna do the orange because this one I have is already lemongrass. It smells really pretty good. I'm gonna take the orange essential oil. Uh-oh. And we're going to take 10 drops and drop it in here. 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. And it just give it a nice little smell so your hand doesn't smell like alcohol. And let's see. And since that is 99% alcohol, my goodness, that is strong. So I'm going to use 10 more drops of my orange. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more drops of alcohol, I mean of um, orange essential oil. And these are essential oils, not aroma oils. The aroma oils you use in the diffusers, these are essential oils that you can use on your skin. So you don't want to get one that says it's for a diffuser. Those ones are only made for diffusers and not to be used on your skin. These are the main ones that are actually used... And products for your hair or any kind of vegan product, organic product, body scrubs that are used on your skin. Okay? And so that's basically it. And you can see, you can't see it here, but you can see how it got a little bit thicker. And so what we're going to do, we're going to get our bottles. And if you have a little, um, I think I have... A funnel and the funnel is how I got it in here I'll have to find it but you'll take your little bottles and then we're gonna find my funnel and my cat's crying for some water so hold on all right I found my funnel and so we're gonna take the funnel because this is the only way you're gonna get it in here and I think it might have sugar in it okay so let's get a paper towel I'm not sure what I was using it for clean it out. Something else I was measuring. Alright. So, we're just going to make sure we get it in there. And I can smell it now. It smells really good. So, this is the orange one. Now, what I'm going to do, because this will make it easier, I'm going to transfer this back into the measuring cup. Because this will make it easier for it to actually pour into the funnel because it's a little thick so you're gonna have to hold the funnel up just a little so it doesn't spill out on you and so what I do is I take it and I hold it and I'll show you I'm gonna hold it away so you want it up here so it, it actually can get through And there we go and you can see the bubbles in there just like old regular hand sanitizer at the store that's due to the aloe vera and voila you have your own handmade sanitizer and I got the flip lid and you like I said I got these bottles right at the dollar store and what you can do is when you're done I had these labels from something I got free in the mail you can cut your label out let's do that And since this is for my orange hand, orange aloe vera hand sanitizer, and I made lemongrass aloe vera hand sanitizer. And since I've had these products, I've been giving them out to people at my job, um, my family, people who ran out of hand sanitizer. I'm not trying to sell or prop these or just something that I had in my house already. And I figured 
when they ran out of it in the store, since I had it, I could go ahead and make it. And I need one more thing. Well, we're not even gonna do that. What I'll do is, since I don't have my glue stick on me, we're gonna take a little piece of tape and I'm gonna adhere my label onto the bottle. And if you wanted to, I mean, after this, you know, whole thing is over, this is something you can keep in your house for yourself or for friends, friends and family. That's on a little crooked, but you get the gist of it. But this is what I've done. And this is my orange aloe vera hand sanitizer labels on a little crooked, but this is something you can do and give out to your family members who don't have hand sanitizer or maybe your older neighbors who might be going out. Um, anybody, this is, again, you can see what it looks like. The consistency of it is just exactly like hand sanitizer. The difference between this and hand sanitizer like Corel is that it's made by a company. No, no difference. No difference in whether the, in the ones made by Corel and a lot of other companies, they don't have smells and scents like the ones you get from Bath and Body Works. This is probably actually better for you because it is pure, almost pure alcohol, 99% alcohol. But like I said, in some of the um, recipes online, you can use, as long as it's over 50%, you can use it to make it, it will kill 99.9% .9 of the germs. The only thing is with the more alcohol you use, the higher the percentage wise, the more drying it's gonna be. So you might have to add a little more aloe vera to it, which is, it's gonna, you know, stop your hands from drying out. But this is what it looks like, ladies and gents. This is something you can make at home. If you find any of your stores are running out, if you have some aloe vera plants or say you use aloe vera um, gel, you have some at home, if you can find that, it's not that hard. It's three recipes. It's alcohol, over 50%, aloe vera gel uh, from the planter in a bottle. And if you want, you can add in some essential oils that'll make your hand sanitizer smell really good. And like I said, this is the same exact product you're going to get off of the shelves, but you're making it at home. So a nice little DIY, you guys. And if you need and know somebody who needs some, you can make some and, and pass it around to, you. like I said, your friends and your family. If there's none on the shelves in your area, this is something you can make at home. So if you're looking for any more tips in beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and corona style virus tips, I got some more. Make sure you guys go out and get your fruits and vegetables. Keep your internal as well as your external healthy and fit. This will prevent you from getting anything in the future. Um, whether, like I said, whether it's this virus or any other virus, if you are internally keeping up with your external, ladies and gents, you will have a more in tune body and it will be more likely that it will fight off any viruses that come your way because your body is healthy inside and out and that's what we want, healthy people inside and out. Keep positive, you guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this on my lifestyle videos, Put the comments and suggestions below. I do have a couple more I want to share with you guys. Like I said, some healthy tips on trying to stay healthy, whether it's during this um, pandemic or any other virus that's out there. Some ways to keep yourself healthy and fit. And I will see you all guys, and gents, ladies, everybody, friends and family. In the next video, give me a thumbs up. Share and like with your family. See you guys. Bye-bye.